drop, I dropped her off at the front door because the front door's that way. How do I need a front door? You tricked me into this. She conned me. She said, swing her by Lowe's, she needs to get one thing that she already bought and paid for. It's in the Lowe's locker. And if I don't drop her off at the front door and she walks to the garden center, not cool. You wanna know why it's not cool? Because all of these girls are ready to go to the JL. That was the plan. Plan was to go to JL this morning, not swing by Lowe's to do shopping. Right, babies? I'm so sorry. Friends, good morning. Lester here. Uh, well, I'm just walking out this morning, and as you can see, we have a visitor. Jamie and I should have known something was up. The dogs were barking a lot more than normal. We both walked out several times throughout the early morning and uh, did not realize it was this that they were barking about. Well, there's a, yeah, look at here. Hi, sweetie. So if that is Carl or Tad, I have no idea. If I see them together, I can tell. And if uh, they're separated, I don't know. But uh, neither way, I see that the gate over here by the tractor is opened. That's how they gotten out. And that's how I'll get them back in. But I need to find the other bird. Now, not to worry, our driveway down by the gate, I'm sorry, our gate down the driveway is closed. So even though they have gotten out into the yard, they're still enclosed in a much larger enclosure, okay? Um, because our entire yard is encircled by a, the, the exact same five foot fencing. All right, so we need to find the other bird. Uh, you guys just excuse the condition of the barn, our shop here. I gotta be cautious. You don't wanna walk up and startle anybody. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, that looks like it's Carl. Hey, Carl. So the other bird's tat. Carl, what are you doing? You're like, oh, I'm just eating some rocks. Since you don't feed me enough. Carl, I feed you plenty. I just don't feed you rocks. All right, well, I will start getting... Oh, yeah, he's going to also roll around in that dirt. and use a dirt bath, too, since I don't bathe him. Since you don't bathe me, I'll just have to take a bath in this dirt. <laughs> Carl, sheesh. Don't, don't run him up on me, babe. Come on, Carl. Carl. Babe, I don't want to get him to run up on me. So, I'm going to go ahead and walk on over here towards the open gate. So, the gate is pushed open to... Uh, Stella, look out behind you. Stella can't hear a darn thing. Stella had no idea he would... Oh, my gosh. Uh, Stella, look out behind you. Stella can't hear a darn thing. Come on, Carl. Babe, he's coming towards you. Look out. I wouldn't trust it. This gate should always be pushed inward, which tells me one of the birds knocked it open. Probably. Oh, boy. Look, all this is... Oh, yeah. So what happened was one of them birds pushed it open. Stella. Christmas.
Come on, babies. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on now. Come on. This way. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Come on, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Oh, there should be one more bird out somewhere. Okay. Tilly, 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 Tilly. All right, so they not. Christmas, you better run, sweetie. Um, huh? What other All this has been just twisted and pushed. That means probably the males were in there fighting again. And ended up pushing. The males were fighting and pushed up against this gate and popped that latch all the way open. So as I'm driving along, I would like you to notice all of the amazing grass that's growing here at the end of uh, February. We've had a couple of uh, maybe weeks of uh, warmer temperatures and our grass is really looking nice. In saying so, I did take out the feed buggy and our plans are to alternate and swap pasture with the feed buggy every couple of days so our cows do not get so dependent on feed buggy only but they have to continue to eat the grasses. And that is, in fact, how you make your cows work. You think Jamie knows that? Let's see if Jamie actually knows that question. So here's a trivia question. How do the cows serve us? How do our cows serve us? You ready? Let's find out if she knows that. Question for you. Oh, I have a question for you, too. You go first. All right. So my question to you is... What service do the cows provide to us? Us as in us. Like you and me? Directly? Yeah, yeah. Not the land. No, what service do the cows provide us? Land maintenance. Okay, thank you very much. Land maintenance. Uh, pasture maintenance in particular. And so what you do is you have to pull those feed buggies off. If you only let the food buggy on here, and they just ate the grains only, they would kind of get lazy on their job of land maintenance. That's why if you notice when we pulled up, the feed bucket was pulled off yesterday to make them get up and move around and eat and do their job, which is like Jamie said, land or pasture maintenance. That was wonderful.
Let your troubles fester Come watch Longhorn Lester <laughs> Yeah, something like that